The U.S. Food and Drug Administration says they're very concerned about the growing popularity of Delta 8 THC products. Many people refer to it as legal marijuana, creating similar effects. But as News 13's Chloe Sparks tells us, local authorities say it can be dangerous. Delta 8 is not FDA approved and is, in fact, banned in many states. But you can buy it and other similar products at many local gas stations and smoke shops. All these are little tweaks in the chemical structure to try and kind of mimic some of the effects of typical Delta 9 THC, which is what we think of as from marijuana. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration says many companies claim their Delta 8 products treat or alleviate pain, but they say some people have ended up in the hospital after using it. An herbal product or an over-the-counter product that is not a medicine that's used more as a supplement is not supposed to say it treats something because it hasn't really been studied. The FDA recently issued warning letters to five companies that claim their CBD products provide treatment, but a local smoke shop employee says he hasn't gotten many complaints. I have, like I said, returning customers, and the only bad thing is just flavor and wise, uh, but other than that, it's amazing. John Tran says some people drive from other states just to buy their Delta 8. We sell all types of form, uh, gummies, um, uh, disposables, cartridges, uh, flour, and I have a handful of uh, returning customers for all of that. One of poison control and the FDA's biggest concerns is the packaging. They say it's too appealing to children. I would sit and consume the whole thing, and a child is going to do the exact same thing. While Delta 8 and similar products are legal in Florida, Poison Control says make sure you keep them in hard to reach spots. In Panama City, Chloe Sparks, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Poison Control officials say it's also worrisome to ban the product because people might turn to something else for relief that they're seeking. Several